You're watching Tom Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined today by Michelle Bame. She is the Southern California Regional Director of the High Speed Rail Authority. And I want to talk about Southern California. We know that there was a groundbreaking in Fresno, but we're in Southern California today. So can you give us a sense as to what the progress is getting either the Fresno line down here or where do we stand? So thank you, it's of great course. to be here, Brad. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of activity underway in Southern California and, and really two major focuses. Please. Number one, we want to make, we want to work with local transportation agencies to make the existing system safer and to connect it better in advance of high speed rail. And, so, and let me ask you about that because I understand one of the challenges is that the high speed rail needs to be able to interface with commuter lines and their lines may not be what the high speed rail lines intend to be for reasons of energy efficiency and otherwise. So where do we fall on that front? So correct. So uh, what the goal of the high speed service really is, is ultimately to layer in a new choice, a new mode of transportation to really bring the transportation system in the state of California up to world class standard. Sure. World class standard right now includes high speed rail. It is the most efficient mode of transportation when you're looking at moving people from place to place between one and 500 miles on a price per person per mile it is more efficient than anything air. else we could do. Yes, more mm -hmm. efficient than air, more efficient than anything. Mm -hmm. And it gives people a choice, an additional mode to travel on. And we know that our um, generations, our millennial generations mm -hmm. are really going to be those folks that want to do uh, different things. They want to have different choices. Right. They don't want to necessarily be stuck doing the same thing. So what about the electrification of these current lines? Because I think that's what's needed in order for high-speed rail to interface. Am I right? Uh, correct. So we need to build an electrified system mm -hmm. so that we can run our all-electric trains because the other important component of high-speed is the reduction of the greenhouse gases and mm -hmm. that's critical for us as the state of California and we have a strong commitment. AB32 requires AB32, it. AB32, SB 375. Mm -hmm. et cetera. So basically we have this two-pronged approach in Southern California. Number one, we want to make it safe and we want to prime the pump. We're mm. investing in local projects basically to make connections within our existing system um, at locations where high speed is planning stations so that people would be able to arrive at these stations using other forms of transportation. These projects can include double track projects. Mm. They can include capacity projects like run through tracks at LA Union Station. Right. They also include grade separations, key safety projects to make sure that our existing rail is as safe as it could be now. The second thing we're doing is we really are laying the foundation to bring high-speed rail to Southern California. And there is a lot of work um, uh, involved there, as you might imagine. Our current uh, focus is the Palmdale right. to Burbank section. A lot of noise on that front. Where we've got a lot of activity right. going underway. Um, we've been looking at routes, basically, to connect a planned station in Palmdale with a planned station in the Burbank area. So will we go down the 14? Will we go through the Angeles National Forest? We'll what will we do? If you, I guess we don't know yet. But, and right yeah. now, that's exactly the question that we're bringing to the fore and that we've been discussing in public meetings and with resource agencies. Uh, we are looking at all options, basically, to do that. And uh, we would like to then take the options that make the most sense through an environmental documentation process mm. where we study them in depth in sure. many, many areas to make sure that at the end of the day, we're picking the best route to connect. Okay, her name is Michelle Bame. She is the Southern California Regional Director of the High Speed Rail Authority. My name is Brad Palmers. We thank you so much for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.